So after crushing that top end set of overhead presses a couple weeks back, I have a kind of mini deload, which means that the weight won't be heavy, but the pump will be real. So I'll be working in the eight to 12 rep range on overhead presses, instead of trying to push out some heavy fives, triples, or singles. So it'll be a nice little mix up, uh, but regardless, it'll still be challenging. So it's time to get some weight moving, and then get back in the office and tackle some admin work. And as you can imagine, the pump was serious, 120 pounds in the eight to 12 rep range. First two sets managed to clear 12 reps. Third and fourth set, got through 10. Fifth and final set, barely squeezed out the minimum rep range with eight repetitions, but I did get in the range and that's all that matters. The pump was so serious that I would have been pleased just ending the workout right here, but there was quite a bit of secondary work to get to. So you know, we kept on trudging along. One arm dumbbell rows with the 80s for sets of 10, respectively. Definitely have uh, quite a bit more in the tank on these, but I was really focusing on maintaining quality of form across all five sets, eliminating the use of momentum. Then some higher rep work with the face pulls. These really contribute to that foundation required for optimal shoulder health. I find when I have these in my upper body days that they just feel better. They being the shoulders, of course. The face pulls themselves never feel all that great because do they ever contribute to a burn in the mid and upper back? As soon as these were complete, transitioned into some skull crushers. As you guys know, it's one of my favorite secondary exercises, one of my favorite priority exercises for triceps. But because I smoked that heavy single two weeks back, we're also doing some higher rep work this week on the Skull Crusher, working with 85 pounds respectively and clearing 8 to 12 reps per set. Got a serious pump off of these, which is rare considering I've been running five threes and ones on the Skull Crushers. I haven't been getting a lot of quote-unquote pump work in on these as of late, so it felt strange. This is the usual rep range I would hover in, and I felt like my sleeves were about to split. As soon as these were done, coupled with some V-bar press downs, high reps as well. This session was very much adequate. One of those mornings where I didn't sleep all that well. They happen from time to time, although they happen infrequently. Still got to get under the bar and get those numbers. And fortunately, I slept well enough that I still feel good to get under the planned numbers. Uh, if my sleep had been horrific, I either would have moved my workout or I would have deloaded the intensity of it and just went through with lighter weights and maybe a little more volume. But we're going to get under the bar. We're going to get this workout out of the way first thing Thursday morning, which is one of my favorite times to crush a workout. Started off with good mornings, which is kind of comical, coincidental, considering it was far from a good morning. But nevertheless, one of the nice things about working with a new exercise variation that you're still running up to see what your top end sets are is that there's a little bit of wiggle room because you're not past 100% yet. So the good mornings working in the four rep range really starting to taper down into lower reps, heavier weights. Feeling out the waters. These have a great carryover to my deadlift lockout, so I'm really enjoying incorporating them. Uh, and, you know, I think it's not unreasonable to consider that pretty soon I'll be rocking good mornings with 300 plus pounds. That'll be a big victory in my eyes. So definitely feel these in the posterior chain. The DOMS post workout two, three days later really reminds me of the brutal. Blah, 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 I can't even articulate my thoughts. The brutalization that these deliver. Got some belt squat work in right after, really bringing that weight up. 310 pounds for sets of five. Can see me battle for these last couple of reps here. They were not easy. And an impromptu finish because I don't have a video clip for the final exercise of that lower body day, the full range of motion glute ham raises. So we're into Saturday's upper body training session, getting those weighted dips in. Total weight, 291 pounds. Pretty cool to think that I'll be repping the equivalent of three plates, like a 315 bench with dips. And dips have a huge carryover to all pressing exercises. So I can imagine if I can really drive that weighted dip number up in consideration of the total load, it's going to have a pretty good carryover to all of my pressing exercises. Working in that wide grip pull down, getting that mid and upper back development using the neutral grip and the short handle. Pushing that weight 
further and further up. Still a ton of space in the tank on this particular variation. But progress is progress, little by little. Take it slow. Don't be in a rush. Upright rows. Cheated the form a little bit on these. Definitely wasn't top quality. But the weight's starting to get pretty heavy. I think it'd be pretty cool to be able to do quality form upright rows with like two plates. And then we're up to 159 pounds on the close grip earthquake bar bench press. So really making waves on this one. Well, actually, it's technically making waves as that bar just weebles and wobbles. Um, but cool to get 325s on each side of the bar. Definitely much more challenging with multiple medium-sized plates rocking and rolling throughout each repetition and consequently the entire set. And then cranked out some bicep priority work. Got to make sure those guns are pumped. Get them ready for summertime weather. Sunday morning, a uh, bit of a hectic week with all this coronavirus panic uh, all throughout the entire world. A little bit interesting, uh, dealing with a lot of the conversation back and forth with some of my professional counsel. Uh, it's certainly been a bit of a whirlwind, but regardless, we're going to get under the bar. We're going to make some weights clang and bang because stronger people are harder to kill and more useful in general. So the training continues. As mentally worn down as I was, I cleared a 441 single on the back squat. It was a little bit of a grinder, but we got it done. Then two back offsets at 397 pounds for singles respectively. Feeling pretty good with those. And then hit a 10 rep max on the deadlift. This is pretty rare for me to work a 10 rep set on the deadlift. It doesn't happen all too often, maybe a couple of times a year, and they're relatively conservative. I don't try and have these calculate out higher. I just, you know, slap five extra pounds on from the last time I did it. And if it's been three or four months, then that five pound progression should be relatively simple to handle, considering that it usually calculates out to about 75 or 100 pounds less than my all time one rep max. And I get to hit a PR. Good for my ego, makes me feel a little bit better myself, about myself. Uh, and then finish off with some reverse hyper work, really building that volume out on the reverse hyper, getting those 20 rep sets in. Talk about a, a lower back pump when these bad boys are complete. All in all, hectic week, mentally, stressful, for sure. But training wise, it was a good one. Another solid week in the books. This strength game, you gotta be in it for the long haul.